past eight. So 3D reporter Sarah Hall joins me. Good Sarah, morning. good morning. Good to have you here. And league legend Graham Lowe. Graham, good morning to you. How are you, Paul? On our panel this morning. OK, Graham, you first. What do you reckon scoreline for today in Samoa? Um, New Zealand owes so much to Samoan sportsmen. I hope Samoa win this game just for Samoa. But they can't, can they? Of course they can. Unless we let it slip away. Emotion plays a big part in this, but I mean, the All Blacks are absolute professionals and, and are able to handle promo- um, emotion, but mm. really, um, I think it could be closer than what you've been saying. Is that right? Is that right? So the last time they met in Palmerston North, Sarah, which was back in 2008, it was 101 to 14. Right. Mm. So well, I know nothing about rugby, but I'm I'm with Graham. I'm so hoping Samoa wins. You actually, so we had one talkback caller who thought that <laughs> Samoa might win. Everyone else is going for a huge score for the All Blacks. Yes, and that's probably going to be the case. But I would just love it for the Samoans, for the for the people who have given so much to rugby. Mm. Mm. It would just so, be fantastic. So many Samoans have won games for the All Blacks. Mm. Oh, no, absolutely, absolutely. Well, there are how many Samoans in this All Black side now? Uh, on our side, I mean, what are we talking, five or something like that? It's a huge yeah, number. Yeah. Um, all right, we've been talking transport and new developments in transport. Now, I know, um, Sarah, that you know a thing or two about this. In fact, you've I you've do, spent yeah. a lot of time, invest a lot of energy in, in well, stories I, about driverless I cars. I love driverless cars. Mm. I can't wait because this is driving Miss Daisy for me, that I need them here before yeah. I turn 80. The 70. irony is I despise the idea of it because I love driving, but this will improve the road situation out yeah. of sight. There is no other single thing, and you can correct me if you think I'm wrong, there is no other single idea on the horizon that will so quickly speed up transport and improve the roading system than driverless cars. I think you're right there. They're talking, I mean, this is an, an, a revolution. You know, most accidents are caused by humans, 85 to 95 percent and if we can get rid of the human factor Mm. then we're going to vastly improve things and what you're going to see within the next two years are cars which take over when you're in heavy traffic so you'll be driving most of the time but Mm. when you're in heavy traffic on the Auckland motorway you can hit driverless and you can get on your phone get on the internet and how wonderful okay, will that I've be? I've spotted a problem, because I think it is wonderful. But what if the person in front of you or behind you doesn't hit driverless? So everyone's in driverless mode except this one guy <laughs> who can't cope with the fact that there's a car behind him one foot away from his car. Uh, they won't be like that. Now, I've been in a driverless car down the freeway in San Francisco, and uh, they... What is unbelievable about them, which surprised me, is that you quickly forget it's the car driving. Mm. You absolutely mm. do. So you actually, you, yeah. you're happy to cede responsibility yes. to the vehicle. Yes, and I was. I didn't think that would happen. And it's because the cars are so smooth mm. and they uh, they use the best drivers, you know, to, to, um, to program it to and program. things like that. Yeah, and it, yeah, I think they're going to be a, a revolution. And, of course, what will happen eventually is that when people won't own cars and they'll you'll just be like oh. an Uber type thing on your, on your smartphone. Phone. Yeah, and the, exactly the right car for your journey will turn up without a driver and take you to wherever you want exactly. to go. And it will already know that, Graham, because these cars are smarter than us. Well, what do we do with the other cars? Oh, well, landfill. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, or we just turn our garages into museums. Mine is sort of a museum already. <laughs> will there be accidents? Um, will there, Sarah? Yes. Yeah, well, this is the thing. Will, will there be traffic cops? Yes. Oh, see. The, suppose, they'll be yeah. driverless cars, though, if there are traffic yeah. cops. Yeah. Will there be drink driving? Yeah. No. What, have you come in here just to ask questions, Graham? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Is, I, I, I'm not being in control. Is your modus operandi not to have any opinions, just to ask <laughs> questions? But you, I mean, you hop out of your ute. I've seen you hop out of your ute at the service station. There's something about, actually, it's yours, I'm in control mm. of this thing, isn't there? Absolutely. I, I think, well, I agree with everything you say. You know, it's fantastic, all this new modern technology, but I like to be in control of something. When I walk in my house, I get told what to do by my kids and my wife. When I get into my car, I know if I turn right, Right, I'm going right. The funny thing is, though, you're actually not in control because you're still behind the idiot in front of you who is texting and they haven't noticed the lights have turned green. So you're still actually not really in control, but rather than it being an expert driverless car, it's some twat in front of you. Well, I'd like someone to invent common sense that comes into vehicles mm. and then we wouldn't need any driverless yeah, cars. That's, that's, you really are a dreamer if you think someone's going to invent <laughs> one or something like that. Um, and the, the problem is, because one of the things that I've been saying um, is that here we are looking you know, in New Zealand and investing this huge amount of money we don't have in 
and such old technology in terms of rapid rail. Um, and I think the reason for that, Graham, is that people know what a train's like. They understand train tracks and rapid rail. They do not understand driverless cars. They can't imagine that it's worth investing in that. I've got to be honest, Paul, I can't imagine a driverless car. You know, I just can't imagine it. But I do recall old Mayor Robbie. Mayor Robbie wanted rapid rail 50 years ago. Yeah. Oh, that's he, when we should have got yeah, it. And yeah. everyone cried him down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, it's too late for that sort of stuff now. Yeah, it absolutely is. We don't want to be the last people on earth to be putting in rapid rail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be tearing it down. <laughs> we'll be back with uh, Sarah Hall and Graham Lowe on our panel very shortly. Right, great to have you with us. Um, the panel this morning, 3D reporter Sarah Hall and league legend Graham Lowe. And guys, very quickly, during that ad break, you were telling me why you thought Samoa might win and you're beginning to sway me away from my 56-14 right. scoreline. The heat. <sighs> yeah, the heat. And I mentioned these things before, but I, I think still, I think it's going to be a huge score. But yeah, we've got the heat, we've got the fact that it's the home crowd and it's oh the amazing gosh. atmosphere and everything like that. Um, and the fact that the All Blacks, I think they're not quite up to... You know, they're not quite up to par. They haven't got all, the all of the players. They're still the All Blacks. Um, but it's a worry. And you pointed we, we, out, of course, that it. this is not... this. this if, if Samoa win, it will not be the first time. That's right. Mm. All right, well, we'll see. We'll know it. Um four o'clock today, won't we? Uh, all right, let's move on, on to another subject. Um, travellers must have lists. What What is the thing, when you go into a hotel, Graham, and you stay in a lot of hotels, you've stayed in a lot of hotels around the world, what is the thing that you think they should give you for free that they don't? Is there something that always appears on that little line that in the bill that you think robbers? Well, certainly the internet. Yeah, you know that would be your number one too. Well, it's not my number one, but you, you shouldn't pay for it. Mm. Mm. It's know, a must-have now, isn't it? I, I, I like going into a hotel room that I don't think anyone's been in before. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. So for for that to work, you can only really ever travel to Spain, <laughs> <laughs> or very soon Greece. Um, Sarah, you were nodding. I mean, I mean, it is. It's just part of life. The internet it is. now, isn't it? Everyone expects it, and you shouldn't have to pay for it. No. And the prices that they charge. I know. You, I mean, you can easily pay twenty five US a day for the I internet. Know. Ridiculous. In some I mean, people who charge now, those days are over. It should be just put it as part of your hotel bill. Yeah. It annoys people too much. Yeah, it absolutely does. And and some hotel chains of which is why we're talking about it today. Mm. Some of them just decided they just can't put up with the people complaining about yeah. it, so they decided to give it away. Um, all right, while we're talking about the internet, uh, the big internet hooey starts in Auckland today. Um, and the thrust of the thing this year, Graham, is it's not the technology that needs upgrading, it's our <laughs> internet skills. Would you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. Um, my, internet, my internet skills come from the kids. They're yeah, teaching me yeah. everything. They're 11 years old. And, and, who, and who taught them? They probably learned themselves. Yeah, like, because they're brave. They're, they're not. They're, they're unrestricted. You know, they're, they're not worried about. Oh, if I touch, touch that, what'll happen? Yeah. You know, they just do it. So you're so right. I was just because when I first started. Oh, I'm still like it. I'm an Aztec when it comes to technology. But there are buttons that I won't push to find out what they do <laughs> in case I have to buy a new computer by pushing. Because I'm just scared of the unknown. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm turning into my parents. You no, know, what they were like the VCR. You know, yeah. my parents were so terrified of the oh, VCR. It was programming the VCR. Do you <laughs> yes, remember that? Yes. You'd sit down with an entire yes. kit and a surrounded by an instruction manual and the program would be over yeah. before, <laughs> before you... We heard. got it. We yeah. got it, yeah. So I, I can just see how it's slipping away. It's just becoming so fast and changing so quickly. Yeah. And one of the things I always imagine is going back in time and being able to talk to my grandmother who was born in 1900 and died in the 80s and explaining to her what we've got now. Yeah. You know, um, Skype, iPads, iPods, mm -hmm. and she would think, for God's sake, the Jetsons have arrived, mm. you know? <laughs> because it was just so far out of her can. Yes. Like driverless cars. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I remember I, I, I came home once and the power had gone off and I just <laughs> thought, oh, shit, I've just got the VCR right. <laughs> 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 and in those days, there was no such thing as batteries in these things. Yeah. So when the power went off, you just lost everything. everything yeah. You were right, but you didn't know the time. You just, oh. I know. It is us. We have to, I don't know how we're going to keep up and it's going to just become so rapid, the change yeah, with the how internet. How do you know when you've got fast internet? Well, I don't know. Oh, I, no, because already the slow internet is already so much faster than me. Mm. Exactly. And that's well, it's so, it's faster, faster than you. Me, yeah. It's so rapid to you. Oh, yeah. no, so you you're too. there clunking away saying, oh, if only I had fast internet. <laughs> what are you downloading? You know, if you're, you're downloading television no, shows, no, you cannot teach him in real time on this program, Sarah. <laughs> uh, Sarah Hall, Graham Lowe, thank you both so much thank for joining us. Uh, that's the panel for this morning, this Wednesday. It's